Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, make sure you guys subscribe. When I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. And when I reach 10,000 subscribers, I'll give away you guys a graphic card. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure you guys smash the like button. So before I get into today's topic, make sure you guys go check about yesterday's video. Because Nashash payout profitability goes down even though the Bitcoin's price goes up. So I explained to you guys why the payout rate goes down. So make sure you guys go check it out if you haven't. So just like I said in yesterday's video, today we're gonna look at this motherboard. All right, so this is a pretty good for money. It has one, two, three, four, five, six slots. And also you can put on the M2 slot. So totally gonna support seven GPUs. I was getting from uh, Fry's, but they were out of stock for a long time. The fries is supposed to ship to me on February 14th, but then I got an email. Here's the email, guys. So basically, they are telling me that they still route. They still haven't got the back order yet, and should I, do I want to keep my order or I can just cancel it? And then I just canceled it because I found out on New Week they have in stock, and the price is only ten dollars more, but I can get it right now. So I just bought from newweek.com. Uh, this is the motherboard I'm currently using right now. It's Ace Rock. Killer SLI. The only thing I like this motherboard is can connect Wi-Fi just directly through the motherboard. So since this motherboard already have a Wi-Fi connector, then I don't need to worry about connect the cable all the way from the motherboard to the internet router. But on this motherboard, it doesn't have a Wi-Fi receiver. And also, I'm reading a room, so the internet router is not in my room. But let me tell you guys one way that you can solve that kind of problem if the router is too far from you or you cannot directly connect to the router it's just go buy a wi-fi extender something just like this you plug this in the wall and you can use this to connect with the router and also this has an internet port connect to the thing and then the other side you can just connect to the motherboard so right now i'm just gonna plug everything out from the old motherboard and then transfer that to the new motherboard so first thing i'm doing is transfer the old cpu to the new motherboard and i already put the ram on the next thing i'm gonna put on the cpu fan on the top i got my cpu fan on the next thing i'm gonna do is plug in the power supply to the motherboard and also a uh, power supply to the CPU. First thing when you get the motherboard, you just want to go Google. This is a model of my motherboard. So I just Google Gigabyte H110D3A latest BIOS. And then Google just going to tell you link directly from uh, Gigabyte website. And you want to go to support. So you can download. What I need is a BIOS. So let's set the date. This is 2018 January 10th. So this is the latest BIOS. And uh, I'm just going to download it. Not to my desktop, but actually directly to my USB drive. So based on the instruction, so you need to download the latest mining BIOS file. So unzip and store in your USB pen drive. Okay, so I just downloaded the latest file into the USB. Then I need to put the USB drive into the motherboard the next thing I need to do is press F8 on the keyboard there you go guys so you want to select update BIOS and then you want to select the BIOS right here so this is the BIOS you want to go select it and this is what I'm going to show you guys after that and there you go guys, it's updating the BIOS now. So this was a BIOS day, it was 2017, December 14th. And the BIOS version was F24. So what I just did is I downloaded F25. So that was the latest one. As you guys can see, update BIOS F25A. The BIOS date is January 10th, 2018. So it's exactly the same I showed you guys on the computer. So before you guys get into the system, you need to do some uh, setup first. 
So first I want to tell you guys, under this menu, the menu mode, you want to select enable. All right, next thing you want to go to BIOS, and you want to go select CM, CSM support, disable. So under MIT menu, you want to select setting. You want to make sure it's on Gen 2. And under this menu, right here, you want to make sure the initial display output is IGFX. And above 4G decoding, you want to make sure this is enabled. And then under chipset, so internal graphic card, you want to make sure this is enabled. And then after you set up everything, you just want to save and exit setup. That is pretty much how you update your BIOS and set up your BIOS for mining. It's pretty easy, you just need to download to your flash drive. After you put in the USB drive into the motherboard, they will just do everything by itself. Enable decoding 4G, make sure it's on Gen 2. Those two things are really important. And then you can just follow up the other th things I did in the video. So I successfully got into the system. Right now, like I said, I only have one graphic card on just to set up everything. And right now I can start plugging my graphic card one by one. I already connect the Wi-Fi extender to the Wi-Fi. And the next thing I need to do is use this port, connect to the Wi-Fi extender and the other side, I'll connect to the motherboard. So in this way, let me just show you guys. On my computer, yeah, it shows already connected. So I have all my fat GPUs on the motherboard. And right now it's mining 0 0.0010 Bitcoins per day. The best thing about this motherboard is the price. It only cost me around $90 plus tax. Compared with other motherboard, it really cost around $150. Some really good ones cost $200, even $300. So my experience on this graphic card is so far so good. It's pretty easy to install and uh, it runs pretty fast. If you like this video, make sure you guys smash the like button and make sure you guys subscribe. When you reach 10,000 subscribers, I'll give one of you guys a graphic card. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.